and just we'll look another few questions uh, related to percentage it will give a little more clarification a little more clarity about how to understand how to solve and how to apply the percentage for different type of scenario different type of questions this question is given some uh, tabular data this uh, below marks card of teja in sixth and seventh two standard one girl teja is there earlier uh, she has appeared for sixth she got the marks of this next year she has appeared for seventh she got the marks of this some differences are there here this number are something look looking different just will look just will go through total marks in each subject is same that is one thing is sure it is same how many subjects are there total five subjects are there and it will be equally divided means like here in sixth standard if it is total 500 means each subject will be 100 marks each subject will be 100 each will be 100 and here each will be 125 correct now it is very clear means calculation of any of the data which is coming in the column of seventh standard you have to take the base of 125 calculation of any of the data that is coming under the sixth standard you have to take the base of 100 this we have to care for because based on this trick only questions will be framed now it is very clear you can anticipate which type of question can come because your base is changing then all question will be depends on that trick only based on the change in base just will look the question because uh, then only it will be more clear like find the percentage point change in english from six to seven they are asking percentage point change they are not asking percentage change of percentage they are not asking percentage change of percentage because data is already given in percentage english will say this 72 percent this 75 percent what will be change 72 to 75 they are asking you can say it is a change in percentage or we can express in terms of percentage